Hello and welcome to the video. In this video I'm going to be showing you the new Apple Pencil enhancements in iPadOS 14. These include scribble handwriting to text conversion and new ways to work with handwritten text and hand drawn shapes. So let's take a look. Scribble gives you the ability to handwrite anywhere where you would normally type, which is a nice feature if you often switch between handwriting and inputting text, but don't want to keep picking up and putting down your pencil each time as an example. If you use an Apple Watch then you'll be familiar with Scribble as a way of drawing words into your watch letter by letter to, for example, reply to a message. On iPadOS it allows you to use your Apple Pencil to input text instead of typing, should you wish to do so. You can handwrite anywhere that text input is accepted in the OS and it will be converted into digital text in a couple of seconds. If I open Safari and pick my pencil up, I can write apple.com in the search field at the top. So if I just do that now, I'll write apple.com and you can see that it's converted into text. You'll also notice that once I start writing into a text field, there is a new set of options at the bottom of the screen. I have undo and redo buttons, which have a fairly obvious function, but I also have a contextual button in the middle, which in this case is a search button that I can tap on once I've finished writing. So I can just do that now and it will launch into the Apple website. Now this will change depending on the specific text field that you're writing into, as we'll see in a moment. Scribble also allows me to edit text using my pencil. I can navigate my cursor to a specific point by simply tapping there. So over here I can tap to just after T and I'm, my cursor is now there. And I can highlight text by dragging over it with my pencil. So at the bottom here I can just highlight the last reminder and you can see that's now highlighted. If I want to delete text, I can do so by scribbling it out with my pencil and it disappears. So at the top here, it says get a new key out, well that should say cut. So I can just basically scribble over out and that disappears and I can rewrite in what's meant to be there. So I can type cut and now I've edited that. Another nice feature is the ability to create and delete a space between two adjacent characters. I can do this by simply drawing a line between characters to create a space and doing the same to remove a space. On the second reminder here where it says order, I want to make that one word because it obviously is one word so I can just draw a line in between the R and the D and that's now joined together. Now in Safari I showed you the small toolbar at the bottom that appeared when I started writing but here in reminders as well as other apps this is collapsed into a small circle in the bottom corner of the screen. So if I tap on this I'm given specific app functions so in the case of reminders here I'm given options relating to adding dates, locations, flagging reminders and adding photos as well as the ability to switch to the keyboard and undo my previous actions. Another Apple Pencil enhancement in iPadOS 14 is to do with how you are able to work with handwritten text. If we take a look at my screen here, you can see that I have a page of handwritten text, and normally I would only be able to move it around as it is, but iPadOS 14 allows me to manipulate it as if it were type text. So I can take my finger, and on this second point here, I can basically tap and hold and you see I've got familiar drag handles that I'm normally used to with type text. So I can drag this all the way to the end of the sentence and then what I can do is I can just tap copy as text and then let's go into a pages document and I've got something set up here and I'm just going to transfer it onto this document so I can just create a new number and then I can just paste that in and as you can see it has now put it in and it's converted it into the text so I can use it in another document. Finally another small new Apple Pencil feature is the ability for hand-drawn shapes to be automatically recognized and inserted into the notes app. So let me go back to my note that I had opened and if I scroll down a bit I've got a diagram here. So I want to draw a circle here in between the two arrows where they sort of meet and all I'm going to do is basically draw a circle but pause once I've finished it. So don't lift my Apple Pencil off. I'm just going to keep it held down and you're going to see that it changes into a neat circle. And once I release my pencil, that's now set there. Now these shapes and kind of annotations are also context friendly. So if I draw an, a line, for example, and I pause once I've finished, you can see it converts into a neat line. But it doesn't just convert into a straight line that, like you'd think. It keeps the form in which you drew it. So a great example of this is a triangle. So if I draw an equilateral triangle here, or I'm trying to make an equilateral triangle and hold it, you can see it changes it into the correct shape. But if I now draw a different type of triangle, and I do it at a kind of an odd angle, you can see that it's also converted, but it's kept in the same form, so it doesn't just return to a generic triangle shape. It keeps the same angle, orientation, and length of sides that I've done. 
So that's it for Apple Pencil enhancements in iPadOS 14. If you have any questions on using any of them, then do leave a comment on this video and I'll do my best to respond. Please remember to like this video if you found it helpful, and please subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified of any new videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.